What minor conspiracy theory do you believe in? Everyone in my office complains about missing pens. I have a theory that they're being stolen by Marie. She's complained about it too. But I always see her with a pen in hand. And plus, when she laughs along with us, I don't see any joy in her eyes. Snapchat's new filter creating a worldwide database for facial recognition. Women's clothing doesn't have pockets so that they are forced to buy purses from the purse industry. There is a secret organization out there that fakes celebrity deaths when he or she no longer wants to live a life in the public eye, basically like a private witness protection company. The original intent of Trump's candidacy was not to be president. It became that when he emerged as a front runner. The lines drawn on laundry detergent cups are 20% higher than they need to be. Easy way to increase sales consumption. I believe there are editors who surf every brand new post and ask Reddit. Quickly downvote the good ones. And then post them again themselves in a few days with a slightly different wording. How many times have you posted a question here? Had it buried with downvotes almost immediately. And then saw it pop up a few days later with a different wording and go to the front page? I think local tire shops go around throwing screws in our parking lot to increase sales. It's like a screw factory out here. That our phones might be listening into our conversations. An example is say you say to your friend on the phone I think I need get a new pair of shoes all of sudden on your Facebook and elsewhere the ads are for shoes. I've seen this mentioned several places on Reddit threads before. Wyoming isn't real. It's a fiction used by Utah. Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Colorado, to pretend the land they don't want is actually someone else's. I believe Nintendo's Smash Ballot, a website that let people submit ideas for new DLC fighters and Super Smash Bros with the idea that the most popular characters would be added, did absolutely nothing at all. Nintendo already had the characters planned from the beginning and they put up the Smash Ballad website to give players the illusion of choice and make them feel closer to Nintendo. I don't think some of you know what minor means. I believe that NASA hired Stanley Kubrick to fake the moon landing, but Kubrick was such a perfectionist that he had the technology actually invented to travel to the moon to get the footage. However, the footage looked too good. So NASA faked the moon landing anyway, on Mars. That all Chinese run donut shops are just fronts for something else. They just never go out of business, ever. And you rarely see more than one person in there, if any. There are two shops in the town I grew up in who have been there for 25 years now. Everything around them, including a McDonald's has gone out of business 2-3 times at least. I just don't get how you can afford keeping it open with 50 cent donuts. Chapstick gives you a chapped lips. Seriously, I strongly suspect that United Airlines Flight 93 was shot down by the US military and the story of the brave crew fighting back against hijackers was invented to make us feel better. It's not as crazy as it might sound. The Twin Towers had already been destroyed and the Pentagon had been hit with another plane. Casualties were in the thousands and climbing. Flight 93 was known to have been hijacked and was en route to somewhere. The government couldn't know where it was going. Or what it would do. Someone made the incredibly difficult call to shoot it down. Then, rather than admit to the public that the government had ordered a civilian jet shot down, they invented a story of the brave passengers fighting back against the evil terrorists. That story was then used as a rally for the country in the war that would follow. Seriously, there was even a military recruitment commercial that featured the phrase, let's roll. Google is taking over the world. Once they alone control the flow of information they can force governments to do what they want. I feel like they would force us to stabilize and advance though. I for one welcome our new overlords. I think that the hack of Sony Pictures was an attempt at viral marketing to promote the interview, but the US government thought it was real at first, hence President Obama coming out and condemning it, when the truth came out, however, they just kept up the ruse to save face. There's a species of rat that lives in my basement and lies off of socks. He can't eat both of the same sock, so he steals only one at a time. This rat was set loose in my basement by the sock manufacturers. 
to ensure that I will purchase socks in the future. Oddly enough I have found a small conspiracy theory within this thread. A user warned me that he kept having his comments removed when he bashed Hillary. His comments have actually seemed to be removed. Stevie Wonder isn't blind. That all superpowers know about the Panama Papers. That everyone is in on it except us. Until one reporter gets a whiff and spills the beans. Then they have to pretend to be outraged to appear legit. They will find some full men to give us commoners the blood we want. Then they resume as normal. All this spying and intelligence and they didn't know about half the world's money? No way. Most of these guys made the laws to make it happen. Kleenex tissue boxes are designed to release tissue dust into the air, irritating the nose, increasing mucus production and facilitating the need for more Kleenex tissue. That vacuum cleaners can be made to be quieter, but they aren't because people equate the noise with power. I believe that the whole vapors are gay and uncooled out your bags trend has been started and pushed by big tobacco to discourage smokers from switching to e-cigs, thereby perpetuating their own sales. That Hitler was behind the burning down of the Reichstag building that eventually led to him becoming the leader of Germany. Computer companies deliberately make their products run slower and less efficiently over time than they would naturally, therefore encouraging you to buy a new computer sooner than you would. The same goes for Apple's iOS updates. They slow the iPhone down, although I suppose this could also be because the new software is designed for the latest models. I believe the FBI knew all along how to hack that iPhone. They wanted the judicial precedent to force Apple to unlock newer, more secure iPhones. The Truth Campaign anti-smoking commercials, which are funded by tobacco companies as a result of a settlement, are deliberately lame to make them less effective. The craziest one I remember that really makes me think this was one that I only saw here for about a week before it was, I'm assuming, pulled. Most of the commercial was a catchy jingle about how cool smoking was with colorful mascots and stuff. Then at the very end it cut to two teens who were like, man, they expect us to fall for that? That one to me just reeked of someone getting super ballsy, since it was basically an ad for cigarettes. Now it's the ones with memes in them. They know it looks outdated and teens will see it as another group of old white dudes trying too hard to be hip. That's the point. The obvious one. Elliot Spitzer was railroaded out of office because he made Wall Street nervous. He was seeing hookers. No one in high office gets outed for doing that, unless he's deemed a threat to the status quo. No scandal could ever have been more inevitable. Selfies were invented by the government to make facial recognition easier and build a database of its citizens. That Starbucks purposely spells your name wrong on your cup so that you post on social media to give them more exposure. I'm convinced that the tortoises we used to have would bite my dad's toes just for its and giggles. I don't believe in the moon. I think it's just the back of the sun. Most of those buttons to press for the walk signal at intersections are just placebos. Fast food restaurants and gyms are working together to keep America overweight in an endless cycle of binge eating and trying to lose the shed pounds to increase sales for both industries. I think that JK Rowling used a ghostwriter for the 5th, 6th, and 7th Harry Potter books. That the anti-GMO movement is supported by the organic industry. They simply use them as a marketing tool to discredit all their competitors' products. There are a lot of shills on Reddit. Pearson specifically made their testing too difficult for grade level so schools would look at new curriculum to help improve test scores and then purchase Pearson curriculum. It, major conspiracy theories. Donald Trump was hired to run by Clinton so that when, if, he wins his party's candidacy he can then drive it into the ground and give Hillary the win. That the government created the crazy conspiracy theorist stereotype so anybody talking about a conspiracy theory could just be labeled as one of those crazy conspiracy theorists. Blizzard announced these new pristine realms just to get people to stop talking about legacy servers. The NFL doesn't have much incentive to punish high value teams like the Patriots. There is no dark side of the moon. The side we see at night is the only side the moon has. 
Seriously I believe that NASA almost faked the moon landing. They did send Apollo 11 to the moon and they did land. But they claimed that if something went wrong, everything could be or already was. Filmed on a set. Massive government conspiracy theories get spun to create the appearance that the government is competent and extremely powerful. I mean, how could Bush have done 9 stroke 11 if he was almost taken out by a damn pretzel? I'm not a truther, but feel like the gov had some sort of specific knowledge before 9 stroke 11, and maybe allowed it to happen to fuel their agendas. NSA aren't spying on us as closely as they want us to think they are. The NSA is most likely playing up how much they're doing so terrorist drug users don't use online communication. Why? So they can pocket the money for themselves. Pouring money into classified programs which are actually just a tax loophole to get government into their employees' executives' accounts. They do minimal effort actually catch the people they're supposed to. But because technology advances they're catching more and more every year. Thinking about it, it's a lot better for us. Being spied on by a bunch of incompetent hacks than a scary, shady, sinister government agency. There's a secret organization whose purpose is to dislike every single videos on YouTube. The cannibalistic commercials, cinnamon toast crunch, Lay's potato chips, crave cereal, are conditioning us for soil and green. Osama bin Laden wasn't killed by the US. He probably died of old age. There were rumors of it before he was killed and the whole we dumped the body into the ocean thing was weird. It really doesn't matter either way. But that movie about the team that killed him did bother me. Since I still think it's all patriotic bullet fabricated because there's no way to pull out of Afghanistan without pretending we won. That Elvis didn't really die. The whole misspelled middle name on the tombstone is enough to convince me. Government unemployment and inflation statistics have gotten to a point where they say whatever the sitting administration wants them to say. There's no way Bruce Lee just up and died from a brain edema at the age of 32. There must have been some foul play somewhere. The city of Milledgeville, Georgia was supposed to be named Mill Village. But, a dyslexic clerk flipped the second and third syllables and nobody had the heart to correct him. I think Hillary set up an election plan with Trump a couple of years ago. The original plan was for Trump to come out as this radical candidate to duck up the Republican Party and essentially give Clinton the election. Unfortunately, the it Trump said became too popular and now he has gone rogue. Now he's playing by his own rules and plans on becoming president himself. The middle class was created as a buffer between the very poor and very rich. I don't know how minor it would be considered, but definitely more local. In North Carolina, the General Assembly recently passed House Bill 2, or HB 2, which makes it illegal for transgendered people to use the bathroom of the gender with which they identify, among many other nasty aspects of the bill. I believe that they never intended for this bill to last, and passed it just before primary season so that incumbent Republicans could solidify their bases going into the primaries. And now going into the general election those whose seats are not in jeopardy can remain in support of the bill. While those whose seats are in jeopardy can have a change of heart so as to try and win support from Democrats. That the US government is out to get us. Not in a specific way or in any way that we notice very well at first. But they're out to gain control over everyone and everything. The one about Stalin's grave. It's a communist plot. North Dakota is not a real place. My senior year of high school, I went to tour the University of Vermont, and in their info session they said that they have received applications from 20 plus countries, but never a single applicant from North Dakota. If that's not proof, I don't know what is. No one really has any idea what they are doing, but they all got together and decided to fake it. I think my cat playing hide and seek with us isn't misdirected feline predatory behavior but her actually enjoying running around corners to scare us then running away to hide until we go find her. There's, rightfully, a lot of money pouring into tech right now. I think the bankers, VCs, 
and other sorts of old money financiers believe that the breakneck speed at which technology is currently advancing is leading to severe and underreported neurobiological changes within this newly globalized world that is slowly creating a sort of brave new world-esque future where people will slowly lose the ability to think abstractly, critically, creatively, etc. To clarify, I'm not saying that I believe that this future is for sure actually happening. Nor am I saying that it definitely isn't. Obviously it would be incredibly difficult to say such a thing. What I'm saying is that the old guard of leaders of capital, whom are mostly within the finance world, believe that this is happening and this is resulting in these people, who are otherwise Luddites to some degree, being incredibly excited and pouring tons of money in tech because they think this dumbing down of society can lead to a whole new world of next level profits margins. Meanwhile, the leaders and people in tech are kind of busy doing their own thing and don't really know what's going on around them. Why so much money is being shoveled into Silicon Valley, or why financiers who more or less can't and don't even care to learn how to properly use a smartphone are haphazardly tossing billions at the field. The intentional dumbing down of America, as first implemented during the Reagan years. I mean, seriously, look where we are now. Somewhere around 30% of Amazon reviews are fake. Just reviews made by the sellers. Expiration dates are nothing but methods to sell more food. And the more agriculture companies produce, the shorter they'll make the expiration period. Clocks are the only thing real in this world. If head and shoulders worked the way it's supposed to, you wouldn't have to keep buying it. Facebook app uses your phone's microphone to target you with hyper-specific ads. Donations going to cancer research are only going towards funding other things. They gain so much money annually just from donations. Even if there was a cure, the greed for all of this money would keep them from releasing it. Just my opinion. And one of the only theories I believe in. Teachers make you write in cursive only because they had to do it and hate the fact that they can't use cursive. Car seat lobbyists are in cahoots with car manufacturers. We keep having to up the weight size age limits that we keep kids in car and booster seats. Which means more kids in car seats, unless you wait like 8 years in between kids, to fit more than one car seat. What do you need? That's right. A minivan or giant SUV. Ain't two big old car seats going in my Civic. That's for sure. And it's not an eeny weeny car either. I think the Democratic Party actually wants Bernie to stay in the race until the end. Because in states with open primaries he will take swing voters from voting for Karsik, who is the only Republican candidate that can beat Hillary. My city hires people to get in front of me and drive like knob ends. I refuse to believe that the majority of people are legitimately such shitty drivers. It's too depressing. It has to be a conspiracy. JFK's assassination was not a one-man job. The single bullet theory is bogus. Edit. I suppose this isn't minor, but I'm following the flow of the thread. Stores price things with 0.99 inches tacked on the end to make the customer feel as if they are getting a far better deal. Today's cell phones have a two-year lifespan no matter the carrier manufacturer. Well, here's my conspiracy theory. Further cemented by reading this thread, there are government, or other, forces at work that want to twist the public understanding of the word conspiracy to somehow mean untrue or ridiculous. Heads up everyone, the word conspiracy means a group of people plotting together behind closed doors. Here, is a goddamn dictionary definition if you don't believe me, I see way too many people say something like my conspiracy theory is this and someone go no no that's not a conspiracy. That's true. That means IT is no longer a conspiracy theory. IT is now simply a known conspiracy. I think that hair products are made to damage your hair. I totally stopped using shampoo and conditioner. Look up no poo method. And my hair has never grown faster or been more thick and healthy looking. The one time I went back to using real shampoo my hair looked terrible and literally came out in clumps. The goose didn't really knock down the power line. The paper plate conspiracy. I refuse to believe it has been debunked. Yes I get that the manufacturing process lends itself to having the plates stick together. 
and the current process is the most efficient way, but why isn't there a company out there taking advantage of this? Imagine the marketing opportunities for inexpensive paper plates that don't stick together, and what if someone invented a simple process to not make them stick? Do you really believe manufacturers would be beating a path to their door? Several years ago, my car battery died. Took it to the auto parts store, and the guy asked me when I bought it. I told him I didn't remember. He said he bet it was just over two years ago. He wiped a smudged part of the battery that revealed a date. Two years and two weeks. How they make them die after two weeks? I assume. Based on research funded by the Pintaverite. Andy Kaufman faked his own death. This isn't going to sound minor at first, but it is. I believe at some point in the last decade, someone went back in time. Something they did change the course of history by causing the relatives of Stanley Berenstein to be delayed at Ellis Island, causing them to see a different immigration officer who spelled their name Berenstein instead of Berenstein, causing him and his wife to name their series of children's books the Berenstein Bears instead of the Berenstein Bears. The jackpot wheel and candy crush is rigged. US wants people to be overly concerned about bugs germs unnecessarily. I got this belief after relocating to Thailand, where the level of hygiene would cause the entire population to die terrible deaths if germs bacteria were as bad as we are told. People cut chicken and vegetables with the same knife. No problems. People eat soups that have been left in more than 100 degree weather for longer than a day without issues. Meat is left out for many hours without problems. Rich and powerful men abuse minors and get away with it because they are rich and powerful. Lawn chemical companies are seeding my neighborhood with super dandelions that only they can kill. I've been on this planet for over 30 years and I've been a lot of places. I've seen plenty of lawns that have never gotten more than an occasional mow in terms of maintenance. I live in a subdivision and most people get their lawns treated. I do not because duck them. I would rather keep my money. Holy mother of god. Do I get terrible amounts of dandelions in my yard? I do spray them with a seasonal weed killer so it keeps them in check. The people who don't do any spraying whatsoever, though, really get infested. Their yard is more dandelion than grass. Keep in mind, I've been to and lived in a lot of places, and I've never seen dandelions this bad, even if the owner of the lawn didn't do any treatments whatsoever. I'm rather convinced by now that mattress stores are money laundering. There is no way they actually make profit. I never see anyone in one of those stores. Fear all over my hometown and I mean, come on, how often do you need a new mattress? The kid that Michael Jackson was accused of molesting just slandered him so his family would be swimming and damage his money. 9 stroke 11 was committed by Saudi terrorists. This is confirmed. They were under surveillance and the government had a hand in allowing it to happen to further an agenda. This is why Saudi Arabia is getting all pissed off about declassification about 9 stroke 11 info. Similar false flag incidents have happened. Such as the Gulf of Tonkin for Vietnam. I believe that the drug dealer across the street from my work has some sort of code to let his customers know when he does doesn't have drugs. I have a theory that it has something to do with the light on over his door. But there's been a few instances where cars will show up when the light is off. Not many but one or two. Either I'm wrong about the light, or some idiots don't realize the code. Running exercise shoes are bright colors so that their wearers can be found more easily if they get attacked and dumped or dragged some way have a fall and can't get back get lost etc. And they're easily identifiable if the body isn't in fantastic shape. 